The Bronze Age, a time of epic heroes and unending strife. I'm Steve Coleman, joined today by Todor Nikolov, exploring the massively expanded campaign map coming in Total War Pharaoh Dynasties. So, let's start with the top line of everything that's been added to the campaign map. Uh, new settlements, factions, what have we got? Yes, what we did was uh, get the campaign map of Pharaoh and expand it significantly to the west and to the east and a bit a smidgen to the north with a lot of new factions that you can play uh, as fight against or uh, ally or barter with. There are a number of new settlements, about 160 new ones in fact and about 100 new factions, I believe. Some of them are major players, uh, major factions, because we introduced that distinction in, uh, in the game with the Dynasty update. There are major factions, like the ones that you have already played in Pharaoh, and there are also minor factions that are a lot more in number, and they are mainly there to provide the player with an additional starting position opportunities. Uh, they allow the player also to play as uh, significant Bronze Age players, kingdoms or tribes, and uh, also they are there because they are either characters from uh, the Iliad related to the Aegean region or they are there because they are related to characters from Pharaoh, like Setnacht. Setnacht is Ramesses' father, right? Uh, where does he start? Yes, exactly. This is the father of Ramesses III and he starts in the Western Desert, uh, very close to the coast of the Mediterranean. And from this position, uh, he's got the option to expand further into the desert to the west, to the south also. In, in both places, he's likely to be fighting against Libyan tribes. Also, he can go to the east where he will inevitably meet with his son Ramesses and perhaps form an alliance to uh, get an easier time uh, getting the crown. The Western Desert is just a jaunt across the ocean to Greece, right? So how did you approach combining Troy with Pharaoh? Well, first of all, uh, we had to scale down uh, the campaign map for Troy uh, in order for it to fit the scale of uh, Pharaoh's campaign map. That means that uh, some settlements had to be dropped and there are about 80 new settlements uh, that are included in the Aegean portion of the map. We also had to rework some of the character art because uh, we wanted to make them more historic. Their armors were a bit more flamboyant and I'm looking at you Hector and you Achilles. Um, so another thing that we had to compromise with was uh, the presence of the Amazons. We could find no feasible explanation on uh, why they would be present in, uh, in actual history. So there are no Amazons. But you have added the Black Sea? Yes, we added the Black Sea because we really wanted to have a complete map of Anatolia and the Black Sea coast is right over there, so there was no reason not to include it. We also discovered that when we combined the, the regions from Troy and from Pharaoh that there is a significant gap right in the middle portion of Western Anatolia, so we had to add a few, a few regions over there. But now Anatolia is complete, you can conquer the whole of it and you can carve another Hittite empire for yourselves if you want to. And uh, Mesopotamia has been added as well, right? It looks absolutely stunning. Uh, what inspired the art style of this region? Are there any landmarks that you're particularly proud of? For Mesopotamia, we really wanted to create uh, the impression of the cradle of civilization kind of place in the world, where you have fertile land surrounded by hostile territory, much like it is in Egypt, but it also had to look and feel distinct from Egypt. And it's not that hard because there is a single great river in Egypt, the Nile, and there are two of those in, uh, in Mesopotamia, the Tigris and the Euphrates. So right in the middle, you can find yourself a, a safe zone, a safe area, because both rivers are natural borders that protect you, protect you somewhat from either from invading tribes from the southwest or those Elamites from the east. They are always there, the, the Elamites. As for any particular landmarks, the city of Babylon is there uh, with a unique battle map inspired by the actual layout of the, of the city at the time. And it's really, really, really impressive. And in addition to that, Ziggurat of Ur, which we have added as a monument on the campaign map that you can interact with as an outpost. This structure was built 800 years, roughly, before the events of the game, but is still standing over that, there today, monument to the entire civilization of, uh, of humanity. So there we are, two new land masses, 168 new settlements, 95 new factions, and the inclusion of playable minor factions. We'd love to know who you'll be starting out with, but our next dev diary might just sway your answer. 
we'll be heading to Mesopotamia. 